Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with a tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I use Magic Bullet looks and basically Topaz level. I can't really show the camera off this because I use a lot of presets, but I'm gonna try to show it. But I'm gonna just show y'all how I use it to make my thumbnails and um, banners pop out and look better. So, all that being said, let's straight to the video. And if it helps you out, make sure you drop a like on it. Let's get straight into it. All right, so for this example right here, I'm gonna use um, uh, IRL thumbnail, then I'm gonna do a banner, but let me just show y'all about the little thumbnail real quick. So I got this right here and I'm gonna get it. Control J, convert to smart object and I'm gonna bring this into a camera off filter, right? And when you bring it in here, a lot of people really don't know how to use it. I don't know how to use it that much either, but I'm gonna show y'all a little something. So when I go in here, you can add like some contrast. You can add like, uh, turn your shadows up. Maybe show blacks probably turn it down to get like this look like not that much but kind of look like this right here definitely turn your texture up in here some people mess with that clarity but it kind of take the color out of the thumbnail so i wouldn't really recommend doing that uh you can add up your vibrance and saturation in here also but the saturation is kind of heavy in here so i would only do like two you can even see a different when you do two trust me but uh, yeah, vibrance in here is kind of heavy too, so I do something like that. I don't really mess with exposure because like your image you get light real quick, and it like change the color of it real quick. So yeah, you can turn your highlights down too though if you want to, and yeah, that's pretty much all I mess with. Some people do sharpening, but they just mess with the detail like. Yeah, it, it just mess with the detail. Some people like doing that though. I might add it on here. Okay, okay. And you can see the difference in it, like the, in the color, really. Magic Bullet Looks and Topaz Lab really where it gets serious at. So, yeah. So, you just go to Magic Bullet Looks. And then, after this, let me just take this off. I'm tripping out for that. No cap. Some people actually do that to their thumbnail, though. Some people do that for real. But that's my little lens distortion right there. I don't recommend doing that. Uh, but yeah, shoot the few. What I do for these right here, um, I put on the fusion, and I usually turn my size up a lot. Like it's kind of confusing. I don't know why, but yeah, I just do the fusion, turn my size up a good little bit. Then you can mess with your grade. That's gonna make it lighter, but it's gonna make the glow pop a little bit more too. So if you turn it on, take it, or take it off, you can already see the difference. Really, uh, glow obviously. That's how you're gonna get your little glow effect, and highlight bias i keep mine around 400 to 300 that's made with that mess with the uh, light on the thumbnail also and i'll probably take my size down by 212 or something like that and i, I, I obviously put my little uh what do they call it freaking chromatic aberration so yeah i put this on the little glitch effect basically if you turn it up how though you'll see like the glitch a lot more so i only do mine around 60 to through 400 I don't really gonna know higher than that. 60 through 400. So yeah. I put mine on about 60, then hit finished, and even after this, you will see a difference in the thumbnail too. So just let this load up and y'all can see the difference most definitely. So you get that right there, and then you can go to filter topaz labs, adjust five, and go to mild details. And really with uh topaz lab, there's a lot of stuff you can use. When I first started, I started using Chris. Until later on, I feel like uh, I figured out that that right there takes out the color. Like on the uh, thumbnail. I don't know how you know when I first started. But my details got to be my favorite one. Because it, it works like it go hand to hand with the diffusion. And you will see what I'm talking about. You will definitely see the pop. So just hit apply. And you can go to details. Even make the strength higher. But I just do default settings on this. I don't do nothing but default settings. So just hit apply. Boom. And if you take this off and look at the regular thumbnail versus the one after the effects, you can obviously tell which one to get more clicks. Like the one after it just looked dull, and then after me putting on the effects, you can see. And you can get all the stuff I use for free. So yeah. But you can also go to filter and put on noise if you feel like you did too much for the uh the amount of details. And what this will do, this will like make your thumbnail a little more clean. And it looks pretty decent on this thumbnail right here. So you can see definitely see the difference if I take it off and then uh put it back on. It just made the thumbnail look a lot more smooth. 
but that's pretty much how you work with the IRL thumbnail. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up a PSD of a banner. I'm gonna find a good example and show y'all how I do those also. All right, so this is pretty crazy example because I'm actually made this banner today on screen. And it's probably one of some of my best words. Like even without the effects, in my opinion, it still does look decent. But some people may ask me like, how do I go from that to this right here? Like you can see the difference in the color. So to do this, what you want to do just um come in here first thing you want to do is go to camera raw filter right and let me show y'all what to do so you come in here and if all you i would just zoom in like this so i can see the difference what i would do is come in here go to contrast put on some texture uh mix with the blacks let me see like you really gotta pay attention man you gotta know what's gonna look the best you can mess with the shadows also like if you turn it down obviously the shadows get darker but if you turn it up the shadows like i guess they will get lighter yeah but i wouldn't want mine to be too dark uh, highlights you turn it down stuff get darker highlights you turn it up stuff get lighter so you might want to mess with that might not even want to mess with it but it's really up to you and not clarity some people would like clarity on a um banner like this so you can turn it up to give it kind of that grimy effect but if you turn it all the way up, it'll look like that. And some people love, like, they love clarity. So I'm gonna put mine about 30 because it doesn't look that bad on this. Um, sharpening, it just makes the banner like a little more sharp, a little more sharp. And I might actually start using uh, sharpening because it does not look bad at all. So I probably put that around 50 just because this is my first time using it. But yeah, I'm probably start using that. Uh, and that's pretty much it no need for vibrance and saturation because it already has some of that but just hit okay after you're done you definitely can see a difference i wasn't expecting it to look that good after but that's a big difference right there kind of a lot like topaz lab so after this what you want to do is go into magic bullet looks and with all these three things combined man your banner will come out straight fire i'm telling you so let's go to lens distortion um what you want to do is bring it about right here and you can see how you can like manipulate the image it kind of distort it and i don't know did i use that word correctly man <laughs> i know i probably did though but yeah you can mess with the image like if you go out like this right here you see you only get that part of the image but if you come in like i don't like to come in too much because the more you come in the more of the image is going to get like so I stay behind the characters about right there and you can pretty get like a good distortion effect just some slight so do about right there then you want to go to the fusion now your fusion is very different from the iRear thumbnails it is not the same at all when it comes to balance so you got to turn your grade down your size down but key you can keep it up a little bit but just turn it, all of this stuff down um make sure you have your glow up though so you probably want to do some let's see you probably can get away with something like this like you see right here but it's i still can't get it exactly like how i had it earlier no matter what i do so uh gray probably be 20. just a subtle little glow you know and from that aeration that's obviously like that's the little 3d 3 3d uh not 3D, but the glitch effect, it does look very good on uh, thumb. I mean, banners like this right here. So you put that on, throw that on there, hit finish, and you will. This I'm telling you, bro, this thing will pop out like crazy. So put that on there, boom. It's popping out, I'm telling you. So after this, you go to Topaz Labs, adjust, and you go to Mild Details. And I mean, what? Is there ain't too much you can say about this. Like, you add this on here, your strength. You go to about 130 on a banner like this. Don't never go this high, boy. Your junk gonna be looking like you made this on Pixar and the edge number HDR. So never go that high. How do about 116? You still can see the effect out of that. So that's pretty much how you do that right there. And you can go to a filter, reduce noise to kind of make it look smooth. So it can look smooth and look like it got texture at the same time. I actually don't do that though, but that's a little trick. That's really how you do it. And let me show y'all the difference from how it looked at the beginning to how it looks now. See the difference? A lot more texture, a lot more smooth. You still like get that grimy effect to it. So that's pretty much how you use Magic Bullet and Topaz and Camera Filter. And you can get all of those things for free. 
Just let me know if you need to get it for free, and I got you. But that's how you use it. Being boy Dragon. Peace out.